We are getting new details this afternoon about the ambush that killed four officers in Charlotte, North Carolina. Three of those officers were members of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force. Authorities say they were serving a warrant when at least two people started firing shots. Here's Manuel Bajorquez. Charlotte police revealed new details about the ambush that killed four law enforcement officers Monday. We did recover so far on the scene an AR-15 rifle. A 40 in a 40 caliber handgun. Authorities say the shootout started as members of a U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force were serving a warrant on a felon they say was illegally in possession of a firearm. According to police, as officers approached the home, the suspect opened fire. You just heard gunfire left and right. Officers tell us as they advanced toward the wounded fugitive, even more gunfire erupted. Two people inside the residence were taken to the police station for questioning. Two females that were inside the residence that I mentioned yesterday who came out eventually, they are fully cooperating with the investigation. Authorities identified the deputy U.S. Marshal who was killed in the shootout. Thomas Weeks is a, de is a deputy United States Marshal. He was 48 years old. He is survived by his wife, Kelly and has four children. This was one of the deadliest days for American law enforcement since 2016. The North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections says two of its officers are among those killed. William Alden Elliott and Samuel Paloche, both 14-year veterans. Also killed, Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer Joshua Iyer, who died from his injuries in the hospital overnight. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department posted this video of a procession carrying Iyer's body from the hospital to the morgue. All were husbands and fathers. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Charlotte. You feel for those families. Four other officers were also injured in this ambush. We're working to get an update on their conditions.